Good morning on this beautiful day. I'm Daryl Soule from Resentable Baptist Church and I greet you on the 26th of April. And I don't even know how many days there have been in lockdown so far. But I greet you in that precious name that binds us together, that makes us family as we remember Jesus. And may I remind you of his word as we begin with God's word in Psalm 103 and verse 8. There are these wonderful promises. It says, And the Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he remo removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, and he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like the grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with, his, with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. Let us pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you that we can join together in worship today. We thank you for the privileges we have of all this media and technology, and we do not take that for granted. But we thank you that it is by your Holy Spirit that you bind us together. And we do come with fear and trepidation, not fearing as the world fears, but fearing to offend you. We don't ever want to grieve your heart, Lord. Please keep us. Keep us from sin. And we know that so often we do fail you, Lord. And we do bring sadness to your heart. Forgive us afresh today our sins. Forgive us our thoughts that have not been holy. Our words that have not been edifying. Forgive us, Lord, for the things that we have not done that we should have done. Or even the things that we have done that we are against your word. Oh, Lord, forgive us, we pray. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And as you cleanse us, equip us afresh to listen to your word today, to sing your praises, even in our isolation. May we sing them to you, the audience of one. And we praise you and we adore you because of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Amen and welcome again. It's good to be with you and to share this day together. And I want to, be share, I want to share God's word with you. And I pray that you might hear and open up your hearts to him today. Uh, we're going to sing together as well that song, Greater Grace Than All My Sin and In Christ Alone. Uh, and then we'll end off with a mighty fortress. Uh, and so this is a good time to worship God. Uh, and we've even got a benediction again. So enjoy this time. But may I remind you to reach out to those that are not well. Uh, remember those that are sick at this time. Perhaps phone and care. What you can do, take, offer to fetch groceries for somebody where you can uh, and encourage somebody. Make the effort to go beyond yourself and reach out to those around you. There are just so many people that need a touch from the Lord. And so the Lord bless you as you do this. And may I remind you again that as God has blessed you, so give to him, recognizing that every breath, every scent, every gift comes from our Father in heaven above. And we recognize that as we give him back that first fruit, in a sense, that first tenth of all that we receive, that 10 percent, that hundred out of every thousand rand that we give to him as we acknowledge that that is his. And we perhaps have extra. If you've got extra to serve, we have the Benevolence Fund that is open where we can share that with those that do not have an income at this time. And there is also the faith promise as we give to those as I've just seen, as God has provided in the midst of this lockdown, he has provided even that. And so he is faithful. And won't you trust him in these days as we give to him, 
as we share, use the opportunity maybe to pause and do the bank transfer now or to do it after the service. But don't forget to glorify God in your worship, in everything that you do, with every moment. And so we're going to sing now, Greater Grace Than All My Sin. <laughs>